Well, Quantum Phaser here. Just wanted to report that I've got a serious situation going on in the uh, fish pond where I've got some ugly surface algae since it's been over 90 degrees that just showed up and won't go away. Let's have a look. So as you can see, there's a surface algae that's developed over the whole pool. And if you look underneath it, you can see that it is clear underneath, so the UV light is working. But the water temperature, that's the problem right here. Uh, if you take a look at it, you can see that it is 90 degrees, and that's very bad. So basically, the, this problem has been showing up since the temperature has gone into the 90s. And I've tried cleaning it out, I've tried skimming it out, and it just keeps on coming back. So we're going to have to work this problem out. In other words, I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. As you can see, it's really ugly. So here's the solution I'm proposing. I'm going to hook up plumbing line to a pump, send it through to here where there is, I can feel how cool this air is. I'll bet you this air is got to be in the mid 70s so either way the air differential is 20 degrees because right now it's 95 outside surface temperature is 120 so we'll put a garden hose in here say 100 200 foot length and have it run around inside the crawl space and bring it back out through here and set up a kind of a kind of a return into the water and I'm thinking with that heat being exchanged underneath uh, that should uh, solve the problem. Of course, in order to figure out what exact temperature it is down there, it is going to require going a little bit into the crawl space. Not looking forward to that. In fact, I'm looking forward even less to running the hose down there, but I think this solution might work. So if that temperature is less than 75, I think we're in business. Let's have a look. All right, in order to uh, get the temperature in the crawl space, I guess we're gonna have to go into the crawl space. Okay. So we're gonna put the shield down. Oh. Alright, we brought with us our trusty thermometer. And now we just need to get inside this sucker right here. Right. Oh shit. As I suspected, the temperature in here is uh, about 72 degrees, and that will be optimal. That means as we get closer to the core, I can expect it'll be even below 70. And I believe that will suffice for what we need to get done. So that's my idea. I'm going to go ahead and get the materials together. Uh, probably take me a couple days to get it put together and see how it goes. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click and subscribe and be my 18th subscriber. Hey, I'm up to 17. All right. Thanks for watching. Quantum Phaser, out.